Let's practice multiplying and dividing integers when we're doing a word problem. Our first problem is a football team lost 12 yards on each of four consecutive plays. What was the team's total change in position for the four plays? According to Nosy, our problem solving strategy, the first thing I want to do is highlight or underline the question. The question is what was the team's total change in position for the four plays? That's what I need to figure out. I also need to go in and circle or underline any other important information in the problem. I think that the fact that they lost 12 yards on each of four consecutive plays is important because that tells me the numbers that I need to work with to find the answer. Now, I need to write an integer to represent a loss of 12 yards. Because the team is losing 12 yards, that integer is going to be negative 12. And then this happened four times. So I'm going to use positive 4 to represent the four consecutive plays that they lost 12 yards. Now, this is a multiplication problem because we said four times in a row they lost 12 yards on the play. So I can multiply here. Positive 4 times 2 equals 8. 4 times 1 is 4. And because we're multiplying a negative times a positive, our answer, our product, will be negative. So our answer is negative 48. We can use a model to demonstrate this. Give me one moment and I'll draw that out for you. It's not the prettiest drawing ever, but it will work. Let's take a look at it and see why it will work. I have four groups here. So one, two, three, four groups. In each group, there are 12 negative counters, representing the integer negative 12 each time. So negative 12 in this group, negative 12 in this group, negative 12 in this group, and negative 12 in this group. Now remember, multiplication is a quick way of adding. Negative 12 times 4 can also be written as negative 12 plus negative 12 plus negative 12 plus negative 12. And so you can add to check your answer as well. And if you really wanted to, you could count up all of the little counters that I've drawn here. Or you could trust that there are 12 in each group and a total of 48. So negative 12 plus negative 12 plus negative 12 plus negative 12 or negative 12 times 4 is negative 48. Do you have to draw a giant model like this every single time? No, you don't have to. But this is a nice way to visualize it as we are learning how to do these kinds of problems. Let's try a division problem. On a certain day, the temperature changed at a rate of negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit per hour. How long did it take for the change in temperature to be negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit? I'm going to underline my question. How long did it take for the change in temperature to be negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit? This tells me what I need to be solving for. Now I'm going to circle or underline any other important information in the problem. I think that the rate of negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit per hour is important. And I also want to know what other number I'm working with. And that's negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit. So if the, the total change in temperature is negative 14 degrees Fahrenheit at a rate of negative 2 degrees Fahrenheit per hour, and we want to find out how long it takes, that means we need to find out how many times negative 2 goes into negative 14. So our problem is negative 14 divided by negative 2. And this is a little bit easier to draw as a model. So let's try that. What I did here was I drew 14 negative counters, 14 little objects that represent negative integers. There are 14 of them here. So this entire group represents negative 14. Now, I want to know how many times negative 2 goes into negative 14, so I paired them off. This is negative 2 right here. This is negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, negative 2, 
and negative 2. So I have several groups of negative 2, and that, that number of groups is what I want to find. That's the answer to my problem. So if I count those groups, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I have 7 groups, each containing 2 negative integers, for a total of 14 negative integers. So negative 14 divided by negative 2 is going to give me positive 7.